if 3 tan x equals 4 then find the value of sin x plus cos x so here 3 tan x so you can take 3 tan x you can write as equals 4 so tan x equals 4 by 3 tan theta ratio is opposite by adjacent opposite by adjacent so now here you draw a right angle triangle you can take any triangle right angle triangle a b and c so instead of theta now you can take x because tan x degree opposite is bc and adjacent is ab and this is hypotenuse so opposite is 4 you can take 4x or directly you can take 4 and this is 3 4a you take 3a or otherwise just 4 3 apply Pythagoras theorem so if you apply Pythagoras theorem you will get like ac square equals ab square plus bc square so ab is 3 square bc is 4 square so 9 plus 16 which is 25 so ac square is 25 ac is root 25 so ac value is 5 now we need to find sin x plus cos x sin x plus cos x sin theta ratio is opposite by hypotenuse and cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse so opposite value is here for x opposite is like 4 by hypotenuse is 5 and here adjacent is 3 and hypotenuse is 5 so if we we'll take LCM 5 4 plus 3 which is 7 by 5 so the answer for sin x plus cos x is 7 by 5 the correct option is C the correct option is C and this question they ask in like September CBSE boards September 2011 now next question if tan a equals 1 by root 3 then find the value of sin 2a so here instead of applying taking the tan a opposite by adjacent and applying Pythagoras theorem so take as it is sin 2a if they'll ask sin a then you can do in the same method but they are asking sin 2a so find the value of a see tan a is 1 by root 3 now take the help of a table like trigonometric ratios table now here I took this table here now see tan in tan just check when you'll get 30 like 1 by root 3 so in tan you'll get 1 by root 3 for 30 degrees so tan a equals tan 30 degrees so on comparing you'll get the value of a as like 30 degrees so this table like if you have any doubts like how to find all the values so there is a video based on the trigonometric ratios you can check in the description now a value is 30 degrees now see sin 2a sin 2a so sin 2 into a a is 30 degrees so sin 60 degrees now sin 60 you can check in the table it is root 3 by 2 sin 60 root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 so the correct option is b and see this question also they ask in cbse board september 2011 so the correct option is here b if theta equals 30 degrees then 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta so in place of theta 1 minus tan square 30 degrees by 1 plus tan square 30 1 minus tan 30 value is 1 by root 3 you can check in the table like and here it is 1 plus 1 by root 3 so if you'll simplify this 1 minus 1 by 3 because 1 square is 1 root 3 whole square is 3 and here 1 plus 1 by 3 so the next step will be here if you take LCM in the numerator it is 3 so 3 minus 1 and here in the denominator LCM is 3 so here you will get like 3 plus 1 3 and 3 cancel 3 minus 1 2 3 plus 1 4 2 times 1 2 times 2 so it is 1 by 2 so the value of 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta is 1 by 2 so the correct option is A next question 
Now see sin a plus cosec a is 2 then sin square a plus cosec square a. So as you need the values of like sin square plus cosec square take this sin a plus cosec a equals 2 and do squaring on both sides. So you will get sin square a plus a square plus b square b square is cosec square a plus 2 sin a into cosec a sin a into cosec a equals 2 square is 4 see here sin into cosec sin and cosec are reciprocals so because sin is opposite by hypotenuse cosec is hypotenuse by opposite so sin square a plus cosec square a plus as they are reciprocals we will get the value product of the reciprocals is 1 so sin square a plus cosec square a plus 2 equals 4 so if I will transpose like sin square a plus cosec square a equals 4 minus 2 so the correct answer is 2 so the correct option is B if cos theta equals a by b so here cos theta equals a by b so cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent by hypotenuse now so take a triangle right angle triangle and take right angle at b okay and take here at c you can take theta so adjacent is a and hypotenuse is b we need to find cosec theta we need to find cosec theta cosec theta is hypotenuse by opposite hypotenuse by opposite so here see we have the hypotenuse that is b okay so b by opposite is we don't have the value of opposite okay and see if you want directly you can answer b by we have only two options b by a b by under root b square b by a it's not possible because a is adjacent so the correct option is b but we will simplify cosec theta is hypotenuse by opposite hypotenuse is b now we will calculate opposite so see apply Pythagoras theorem so you will get here like ac square equals ab square plus bc square so b square equals ab square plus bc is a square so b square minus a square is ab square so a b value will be under root b square minus a square so here under root b square minus a square so opposite is under root b square minus a square so the correct option is b next question the value of 2 tan 30 by 1 minus tan square 30 so see now again take the help of the table 2 tan 30 okay 2 tan 30 by 1 minus tan square 30 so 2 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 by 1 minus 1 by root 3 whole square so 2 into 1 by root 3 is 2 by root 3 by 1 minus 1 by 3 that equals 2 by root 3 by here if you take LCM 3 so you will get here 3 minus 1 so 2 by root 3 by 2 by 3 that if you will simplify further 2 by root 3 into this will become reciprocal 3 by 2 2 to cancel so you got left with 3 by root 3 so rationalize root 3 by root 3 so now 3 root 3 by root 3 into root 3 is 3 so 3 3 cancel so you are left with the value root 3 now sin 60 options you see sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so this is not the answer tan 60 is root 3 so we got root 3 so the correct answer is b so the correct option is b which is tan 60 if you want to check sin 30 is 1 by 2 okay that is not the answer because we need root 3 cos 60 is 1 by 2 so correct answer is tan 60 value of 2 tan 30 2 if you will see the, take the help of the table tan 30 is tan 30 is 1 by root 3 
by 1 plus tan square 30 so 1 by root 3 whole square so if we we'll simplify this now see that equals 2 by root 3 here 1 plus 1 by 3 that equals 2 by root 3 1 plus 1 by 3 is 4 by 3 so 2 by root 3 into 3 by 4 this will become reciprocal so 2 times 1 2 times 2 so 3 by 2 root 3 if I'll rationalize into root 3 by root 3 so we'll get 3 root 3 by 2 into root 3 into root 3 is 3 3 3 cancel so I am left with the value root 3 by 2 now if you will see now this root 3 by 2 now see root 3 by 2 sin 60 once check the option first option sin 60 root 3 by 2 so the correct option is A for this question the correct option will be like A if you want you can check cos 60 cos 60 is 1 by 2 but we got root 3 by 2 tan 60 is root 3 we need root 3 by 2 sin 30 1 by 2 so already you got the answer but just i am showing the values like so in this way so you need to know this table this table you should know to do some multiple choice questions in this yeah next question cos x equals root 3 by 2 see this problem you can do with the help of table and with the help of pythagoras theorem as we have the table here we'll do with the table like cos x equals root 3 by 2 check in the table when we will get root 3 by 2 for in cos theta cos theta root 3 by 2 is 30 so cos 30 so x equals 30 degrees now substitute the values you will get it like 3 sin x so sin 30 minus 4 sin cube 30 now again take the help of the table okay and do it sin 30 is how much 1 by 2 minus 4 into sin 30 is 1 by 2 whole cube 3 by 2 minus 4 into 1 by 8 4 times 1 4 times 2 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 LCM is 2 3 minus 1 which is 2 by 2 which is 1 or otherwise apply Pythagoras theorem adjacent by hypotenuse okay find opposite then find sin theta value sin theta value will get 1 by 2 only so you can substitute you can do in that method also so we got the answer 1 so the correct option is D value of phi cos x square theta minus phi cot square theta so here you can take phi common so if you take phi common you will be left with the cos x square theta minus cot square theta see cos x square theta minus cot square theta is 1 because we have three trigonometry identities most important that is sin square theta plus cos square theta value is 1 next one is like second square theta minus tan square theta equals 1 next cos x square theta minus cot square theta equals 1 so these are the three identities so cos x square minus cot square is 1 so 5 times 1 is 5 so the correct option is C next one so the value of 1 plus tan plus sec into 1 plus cot minus cosec so to solve this change all the values in terms of sine and cos so 1 plus sine theta by cos theta sec theta you can write as 1 by cos theta because sec and cos are reciprocal 1 plus cot theta you can write as cos theta by sine theta minus cosec theta you can write as 1 by sine theta now if you take LCM in both the terms now here LCM is cos theta so here cos theta plus here already you have cos so sine plus 1 here sine theta so here you have like sine theta plus cos theta minus 1 now here if you we'll observe the numerator okay see this terms like cos plus sine and cos plus sine these two terms if we'll consider as a a plus b a minus b a plus b into a minus b is cos theta plus a square minus b square so cos theta plus sine theta whole square minus b square which is 1 square denominator if I multiply cos theta into sine theta 
a plus b whole square so if you'll expand cos square theta plus sine square theta plus 2 cos theta sine theta minus 1 by cos theta sine theta so just now i explain the identities like here just i wrote the identities sine square theta plus cos square theta value is 1 so this value is 1 1 minus sorry otherwise right 1 plus 2 cos theta sine theta minus 1 by cos theta sine theta 1 minus 1 cancel so you are left with like 2 cos theta sine theta by cos theta sine theta cos theta sine theta cos theta sine theta cancel you are left with 2 so the correct answer is 2 and the correct option is D thank you for watching please like share and comment and subscribe my channel thank you